Okay, let's do some example. Uh, before we start, basically you may want to take a look of the equation that we talked about earlier, uh, which is basically more precisely is actually this one, the general equation. Or when you are in a special case of normal adjustment near point, you may use this equation. And of course, uh, the finance formula as well. So take a look of this question, pause the video, come back to us when you finish. Okay, so uh, let's take a look here. What we have uh, in this video, in this question is, we have uh, the focal length, we have IP's focal length, so you can see that I uh, like how you usually approach the normal physics question for calculation, you want to put down the variable uh, or the symbol of the variable. And then this actually, uh, well, I can actually put that this is F O. Okay, so, well, not, not F O, U O. I should have put it down. So let me try it. F Oh, never mind. And uh, this is VE. And so at the end, you would have um, what you have can do is uh, you can try to do the calculation using finance formula for part one. Um, apparently, you already have UO and FO, and you are finding VO, so finance formula 12 cm. Part B is similar, you just do the finance formula again on. Uh, IPs so I you can see that I uh, try to follow the way that I do here using subscript and then you uh, actually from the question you are given VE and FE and then you can substitute be careful one special thing here is that uh, the for microscope because from the question you already see is microscope uh, in the exam you may want to pay attention to the word whether it's telescope or microscope because they are simply different for microscope, you are having a virtual final image. So uh, you are expected to know that the VE must be negative. Okay, as you already drew the diagram last uh, in the previous video. So in that case, you will be able to obtain the answer of VE, which is 4.8. With both, uh, all, all these things like UO, VO, VE, VE, then you can surely obtain the final magnification uh, more precisely. I think here is referring to the angular magnification. Uh, oh, oh yeah, of course, uh, together with the uh, focal length as well. So since this one uh, is that the final image is forming at 25 cm, and so you can use a special case equation where it is normal adjustment. Uh, in the exam, they may just simply tell you it is normal adjustment, then you should know that it is 25 cm. Uh, when you use this equation, you just have to substitute inside and you get VO, you get UO from you know the finance formula here. And uh, D is 25, you know, FE, you know, and yeah, this is how you get the answer. And uh, it is negative, it's very normal because uh, if you have used microscope before you know that uh, is also inverted let's try the next question pause the video now okay next question uh, once again from the question you can find some information including fo fe uo and ve again i would encourage you to I recommend you to write it down right next to the question. Uh, first step, in, uh, even though they ask you to just simply calculate the magnification of the microscope, which apparently you can use uh, the fundamental equation here, uh, but then uh, you will find out you, you don't have those V or U, like you don't entirely know all of them. So uh, a better step to start with is again using the finance formula here. Then you have one unknown here and finding out the unknown VO. Same for IPs and then finding out the uh, UE. One thing that uh, you need to be more careful once again is for microscope, 
the uh, final image must be virtual so here you must be putting a negative here and so the answer would be uh, 3.5 I think from the textbook uh, they, the answer they, they gave you is actually wrong so be careful with that and you may want to double check my work and after you prepare all these uh, these two number it's like preparing the ingredient for cooking then you can put all these things back into the equation uh, and then you can do the final step so um, the reason why I pick this equation is because the final image is forming at 30 cm that means it is not forming at the near point not the final uh, not the normal adjustment and so you must be using the fundamental equation which is this one more general equation and then uh, you can convert this by again uh, referring the linear magnification to the fundamental definition which is uh, negative VO over UO same for eyepiece and then for D over VE uh, this is the reason why uh, we have to use this equation because this would not be one if the final image is forming at 30 cm then yes this would become one but then uh, now it is not so anyway uh, by substituting all these things you should find out that the final answer should be 36 next question pause the video and try it okay so you will also find this question is uh, again quite similar so I hope uh, you will find uh, this question I mean starting to pick up some confidence from it so once again um, they have given you different parts so finding out the distance this is usual way to do it and then uh, which is the VO which is not given from the question uh, be careful with the unit actually the unit are all CM so yeah it's fine and then uh, same for the eyepiece so you find the answer of this find the answer of this once again be careful with the VE again which is negative and this time uh, since it's forming at 25 cm so you may use this equation uh, for this specific case so you should find 8.2 in this case let's try this question pause the video now okay so um, the approach are again uh, exactly the same we have VD FO UO this time a bit different they give you the angular modification big M instead and they want you to find FE and uh, you don't have to panic or anything because ultimately you know uh, it's all governed by free formula which is one finance formula the second finance formula for you know the other lens and also the angular magnification this formula so at the end of the day it's just these three and most okay so uh, what you have to do once again I would recommend to do uh, this as the first step to finding out VO because you already know uh, sorry you already know UO and FO and just simply finding out VO and since uh, 30 and 24 are both mm then the answer you find out would be in mm also for the next part usually we would do the finance formula but now since you already know the magnification then we should do magnification first because that should give us some hint so after writing down the equation uh, the general equation uh, I would use because the, uh, well actually you can use the normal adjustment that one but let, let's just, let me just try to use a general one okay uh, to, to tackle the specific case to show that it is also the same all right so what I have here is um, magnification as 30 uh, and then these are linear magnification so I just converted the way that this is being defined and then D over VE uh, instead of D cancelling out VD, uh, what I do is I use I cancel out these two, uh, which actually is fine as well. And then the best part of this is I cancel out the negative sign also. 
Anyway, so ultimately you should be able to find VE, which is 33 mm. Okay, because all these are in mm already. I converted 25 cm into 250 mm. Okay, times 10. And then uh, by substituting this back to the finance formula, then apparently you can find the answer. Once again, the final uh, image distance, VE, is negative. So in that case, uh, you should be able to find the answer of 38 mm. Here's the last question. Uh, I will really want you to try it. So maybe you could try to screenshot this. Uh, and you can try to draw on it. Okay, so let me show you a few steps. It's in fact uh, very similar or even exactly the same as what we learned. So um, no matter what, you just do how you do normally. This is a convex lens first of all. And uh, draw a straight line going through the optical center and then the other one parallel to the principal axis and going to the FO and then you should be able to find the intermediate image here and then what you can do is uh, you can draw light from it uh, from the tip of the image and then going through the center of the eyepiece and then the other one going horizontal and then go to FE uh, and then you will find out uh, they are diverging and therefore you use the dotted line to represent so um, I just realized this is out of my screen, so let me show you this way. Uh, let me show you this way. Okay, so you have to trace it back to a certain point where they emerge once again, they intersect once again. And uh, in that case, that will be the position of the final image, which is virtual, of course. Okay, so uh, that is how you can draw the diagram. And that's all for the practice.